everlasting, everlasting be the glory, everlasting, everlasting be the glory of God. Everlasting, everlasting be the glory of God. Everlasting, everlasting be the glory of God. Listen, brothers and sisters, good evening. Today I want to continue on and tell you about the war against women. Someone asked me, saying, why would... The devil caused man to stop women from having an abortion if he wants women to fall unto death and stop humanity. Well, let me tell you, because he do not wish that women have an abortion. He don't want women to have rights because if the woman do not be able to Abort a uh, danger within her womb. She will conceive demonic children. You see, he will have authority soon to bring about children in the womb that will have evil spirits upon them, low form spirits that he may corrupt man furthermore. Because man is not listening to God. When you wake up in the morning time, they listen to vile music, rap music. They do not wake up praising God's name. They don't go out and say hallelujah and praise God. Instead, the man and the woman will wake up listening to vile music, smoking marijuana. This is how most a lot of people do some of them will wake up in the morning having sexual intercourse with one another. Some of them will wake up in the morning just ignoring and looking at the sky and just walking off after they eat breakfast and go to work. Some of them will wake up in the morning doing idiotic things, just going to do a workout or running or jogging. Whatever they may do, they are not praising God. And because of this, Satan is constantly bringing his low-form dark spirits into their lives. There must be prayer. There must be sacrifice often and weeping when you pray. Understand, you must let the Spirit of God in. Let the Holy Spirit in. If you do not do these things, then you allow the Roman dark spirits about to enter into your flesh. Which is why there are sicknesses. Which is why there are diseases about. Illnesses in which you don't understand. You catching and you are not doing wrong, you say. But when you lie, don't you know a dark, low form spirit come up on you? When you lie, these things come up on you. Low form dark spirits come up on you when you lie. Constantly. Whatever you do wrong, when you curse, low form dark spirits come up on you. I'll tell you no lie, I'll tell you the truth. These are the times when the devil himself is constructing and preparing for the battle in which he will lay. He will lay set to wait against God himself, against the Son of God. You see, when you are against the Son of God, you are against God. Understand what I'm saying. When you fight with the Son of God, you fight God because the Son of God belongs to God. Moreover, concerning the battle, the war against women, when he causes her to lose her rights as a woman, he is strickening her. Man, a wickedness of high authority upon the earth today, believe we have the authority to tell her what she can and can't do with her body. They'll say this because the devil had told him to do so. 
He want to take away that right. Because uh, the devil says that she is a creator. She is more like God himself. He do not like this. And he says that she is a God of pleasure. He do not like this. So he want to put her to death. And the low form dark spirits up on the babes that she give birth to will have an impact upon those people upon the earth. He will be able to cause more greater affliction on man, to twist the mind of men and women to do exactly what he wants to do. You see, an evil woman will cause a good man into doing vile things. This is how the devil turns the minds of men. Some of them would fall for the trap. Not all men would fall for it. This is how he persuade evil men to do bad things to women. This is how he persuade people to murder and corrupt and to steal and to do all sorts of acts of violence and filth. He is constructing and building his kingdom on the earth. So he believed by this action taken against women. You see, you may ask, why would he want man to be so vile and corrupted? Because the devil do not want mankind to ex even exist. He want a spiritual kingdom. But because an hour is coming when Satan himself shall be hemmed up in the flesh as the beast, because he will be stuck in the flesh as a man, it angers him. And he said to me, I will corrupt whoever I seek, and I will devour the flesh of women, and no one will stop me, not even you. This is what he said to me. He said, you are not powerful enough to stop me. He told me he has an army already and that he can stomp my feet anytime he seek. He think that he can bring me down, but he will not stop me. You see, God is my father and him do I trust. This war and this battle will never end with me and him. I will not fail as some people claim that I will. I cannot stop and I cannot utterly stand by and watch him defile the flesh of those I seek to save. You see, I'm not like him. I'm not destructive. I'm not corruption. I'm not corrupted. I only come for one thing and that's to save and to deliver on behalf of my father God. I'm a merciful one. I don't seek praise. I don't seek wealth or fame. I don't seek these earthly valuable things. I only seek redemption and freedom from the evil one that he may not triumph in victory over me. I'll tell you no lie. There is coming a time when you will recognize the truth before you, you will recognize that there is no lie within me. You will recognize that I stand in honor of God. You will recognize that in Jesus' name, power is great. And Satan cannot defeat you if you only believe and continue to strive for pure righteousness. Stand in honor of God. Focus yourself and rebuke the devil and rebuke all evil. You see, he will wage war constantly against the woman until he has wiped her completely out of existence. But he will not succeed at wiping out those that I lift up and those that I bring forth. 
See, Yahweh bring men and women out of his path. Not just men and women, but little children. This is my job and this is what I will do in honor of my God and my Father. I will not allow him to stomp out a existence, many, all that he seek. But he is not God and he is not worthy. He is not worthy to take life as he see fit. No one is worthy to take life away. Praise God, hallelujah. For a new day is dawning. A day of righteousness, a pure righteousness. Hallelujah. Give praises unto the saints most high. Give praises unto the saints most highest, the most highest of saints. For God shall bring them forth in his honor. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Glory, glory be the Lord God Almighty on high. 